Nicky Ironton has made a number of changes to the home side. Rolf and Winter start at the back, with Jordan Watson making his first start of the campaign. He's already netted three goals in two substitute appearances. All-time leading goal scorer Dwayne James returns to the club to build on his record of 71 goals in 69 appearances. The visitors have a familiar face wearing the captain's armband, former Walthamstow player Gaz Doughty. And Ronnie Bates gets us underway for Whittam Town, the first league home game of the season for Walthamstow here at Wadham Lodge. Whittam win the ball in midfield, play it out wide. They're on the right now, Stowe looking to palm it back. Sterling wins the ball by the penalty area, really well done, but Whittam still have the ball. Mensa uses his strength, really played out for a goal kick. Yeah, really well done there from Carl Mensa. One of the biggest blokes on the pitch. It's going to be hard to get around him today. Ball's played in. Over everyone. Mensa gets his head onto it again. But Whitton win it back. It's played in. Doesn't get off the ground. But now Anya DK will go. He'll try and win it. He does win it. It's now. He's, he's got Dwayne James in support. Anya DK comes into the box. But goes to the byline. Plays it left. And it's a good save. Saved at the near post by Nick the air. We're just two minutes in there and had chances at both ends. It's the third corner in five minutes. Ball goes in, curling in, swinger towards the goal. A Western player lands on the floor. There's a huge appeal for a penalty. But they ended up maybe being half hearted and hopeful. I nearly managed to tackle him there, but that's a really good turn. Bully and Whips, Dean Whips plays the ball in towards Trobler. It's missed by everyone apart from... Oh, he's offside. It'll be dipped aloud. They can't believe it. Sally was there. Had the number seven Trobler got his sliding boot onto that, it would have been a goal. But Salou was just offside and it won't count. It was a really another really good ball from Whips. Ralph launches the ball and... There's a call for a, a foul, but Anya DK takes it first time. Would have taken something special to score from there on the volley. Mensa plays it out to Anya DK, really good vision. He's right on the edge here on the wing. Plays it to Turner, Turner. Gets into the corner and wins. Walthamstow a corner. Mensa is on his way up. Some really good target men in the box for Walthamstow. They've got and so they've got Sterling. Some good height in there. Exactly who Winter will be trying to find with this corner. But it's played short to Anya DK. And back up to Winter. Winter left footed, curled it in. Sterling gets his head onto it, but just can't direct it towards goal. That was Dwayne James actually. Dwayne James can't direct it towards goal. Ironson plays the ball out to Winter. Winter's got a little bit of space. Makes it around the to one, makes it around two, makes his way into the box. He needs some support. He's in the box now, left foot, gets it towards Watson. Who scores? Great goal from Watson. Really, really brilliant work from Percy Winter. Fantastic. He got past two, three Whitton players managed to play the ball in towards Watson who gets his fourth goal in three games 25 minutes into this first half keeping up that goal every 20 minutes he's had this season so far it's 1-0 Walthamstow this whips again trying to run out of trouble but Yanni's there to stop him that was well done by Rolf goalkeeper tries to kick it out it only goes to Anya DK the goalkeeper out of his goal another good opportunity Anya DK played it along the floor but the defender was there to manage to stop it going in the open goal here's Rolf Rolf has some time he's closed down by Whips plays it to Mensa Mensa at the back closed down by Bates and Whips tries to pick out Anya DK Ooh, Mensa puts his foot in, he's injured there. 
Mensah's down in the middle of the pitch but here's Whips Whips is charging towards goal left footed great save great save by Matty Nolan sticks out his left foot it was a good shot from Whips along the floor Nolan had no choice there he wouldn't have been able to get down in time Mensah's still down on the ground and Wissam are going to try and throw this one into the box and cause some trouble for Stowe in these final few minutes of the first half there's a shot from Jobler and it's in it is in Jobler snapped at it got the goal was just out of reach of Matt Nolan stretching out his left hand couldn't get to it and they've been threatening to score all half they've really had their spells Stowe had bodies back but couldn't get to it couldn't clear it and we're back to level pegging 1-1 one, one. throw from Rolf headed on by Sterling and it will be half time so got there so took the lead through a great run by Percy Windsor and Jordan Watson got his fourth goal of the season his third in the league his second in the league but in the end relentless pressure from Wissam has paid off and they got the goal that they, they probably deserved and now they go in at the break 1-1 the players are out then for the second half in wildly different conditions. The heavens have really opened over half time in the last 20 minutes. It's been torrential rain. How will that play into this second half? It's been a really fast flowing game. It's really fleet, free flowing football as Turner gets this game underway and the referee blows his whistle. In the air might be the only way. Ironton is going to play this right footed into the box. He's got Mensah up there. Goes beyond him, goes all the way. Nearly comes to Dwayne James. But in the end, it goes for a corner. The referee's reluctant to make a decision there. All over his chopper. Chopper. Better of McLean. Makes his way into the box. But again, he doesn't take the ball with him. And it comes to Ironton on the edge of his own penalty area. And the referee has blown the whistle. I think he's decided there's, the pitch is waterlocked. Oh, we're not going to get underway again here. We're going to have a, a break, maybe. It's just after a big spell of lightning. And the referee's decided he's had enough. The players are all surrounding the referee. There's a little bit of argy-bargy going on as well. It seems a bit unnecessary with Jordan Watson involved. A little bit of pushing and shoving. It all seems relatively well-natured, though. And so that is the end of the game. Nine minutes into the second half, the referees had enough. The players were running off without taking the ball with them, so fair enough. And that's it, the game ends 1-1.